Hello and welcome back to Server Assist guys. So today I have actually got some rewards in my first ever game week on the 50 to 500 pound challenge. I did come away with a good reward. I have also made some new signings as well which I'll be sharing with you guys today on this video. If you like this video smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Of course if you do like this content as well the 50 to 500 pound challenge do smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. So guys, as you can see, I have got a reward to pick up here on the game week just gone by. I'll be sharing my team in the upcoming game week as well shortly. But first of all, let's have a look at the new signings that I've made f for my club. As you know, guys, it's the 50 to 500 pound challenge. I'm only going to spend 50 pounds on my team on Sir Rare. I've started again. I made over £12,000 profit on Sir Rare since playing in 2020. And I've come, cashed that all in now. Totally sold my full gallery. Now I'm starting again with £50. Trying to work my way up to £500. Going to see how long it takes me in the current state of play on Sir Rare Fantasy Football. So then guys. The £55 now has been spent. The full total has now been spent. And I have made some new signings since the last video. So I'm going to show them now. Then we'll go on to these rewards. Also look at the teams that won me these rewards as well. And I'll show you my team for the upcoming game week. Which is looking pretty tasty. So on to new signings then guys. So first of all I've, I've signed Nahul Guzman of the Tigres in Mexico. I think they've got a couple more matches to play in the playoffs in the Mexican division. It was £10.44, so one of my bigger purchases on Surrey Fans Football. But it is a player that I did need f with January fixtures in mind. The Mexican league does return in January. Of course, the Antinian league doesn't return till the end of January. And also the Japanese and South Korean leagues don't return return until the end of February so I did want to get somebody in who is going to have that January utility guys so that's why I brought in this Mexican league goalkeeper in Guzman and he's a fantastic score as well as you can see for a goalkeeper yes he's not he's getting on now but he has still got a long contract with Tigres so he's going to be playing next season for them and as you can see he's had a fantastic um, some fantastic scores in the season gone by in the last 50 games for Tigres he's tapped 20 clean sheets so looking an absolutely fantastic option here now we didn't play the last game which is a little bit worrying but i'm hoping that was just a rest i'm hoping he is available for the upcoming fixture which i think he is which i've checked in the predicted lineups another goalkeeper i picked up as well was sejeno for only 67 p now this guy was actually dropped when i picked him up i just picked him up so that i could have a goalkeeper for the academy league so i could put some of my non-used players in the academy training league to get their xp up but he actually played in the next game guys and had a fantastic score as well of 63 so i don't know if he's got his place back in the team now he was on the bench for a while look as you can see but that has certainly helped his price and that's made my collection um, value go up slightly as well so he could potentially be used in the last um, fixture there for the Japan J League. Defenders wise I've signed Santa Maria from the Atlas team in Mexico he was only 83p some good scores as well look as you can see when he does play so it's probably a good one for the capital 40 division Mozo is another one with the capital 40 division in mind only 99p another one that's capable of some really good scores look guys 99p looks a real steal for me another mexican player that i've gone for in the mexican division sorry is angulo he plays for tigres as well two pound 82 this one a little bit more expensive but some really good scores from him as well as you can see i've signed some more mexican players with them january fixtures in mind i've also San Miyakuma as well of Sarest Asaka. He was only £1.32. Another one with the cap team in, in mind, the Cap 240. As you can see, pretty steady um, scores for the Cap 240 mode and also capable of these peak scores as well. And I've also got Diego Reyes as well of Tigres, another Tigres player here. He was only 65p. Again, one capable of getting these peak scores, but also getting some good average scores for the Capital 40 competition. Another defender I've gone for is Yamakawa of Kobe. He's, I think, he's a good price here, 99p, with the capable scores he's getting. Another one that's um, targeting the Capital 40 division. 
when the Japan J League does return. Kawahara is another one for the Capital 40 Division. 99p again. Again, look at these scores. Perfect player, really, for the Capital 40 Division there. And midfielders, I've signed Reese from Jeju. £1.82. Really good scorer, as you can see. Some fantastic scores there. I'm hoping that he does stay in the Korean League next season. Another midfielder I've gone for is Lee Jong Jae of Suwon FC. Now, a little bit of a risk here because I think Suwon are in the relegation playoffs. So I think they have got a risk of going down. But he's only 98p, Young Jae. And as you can see, he is capable of getting some really good scores as well, including 78 in his last game in a 2 0 loss. Another midfielder I've gone for is Javier Aquino. He's actually a midfield card, but that's what I wanted. I wanted another midfielder there for the Mexican division for the Tigres. 98p for him. Again, some really good scores for this player. He's got a contract at the end of next season as well in the Mexican division. Uh, forward that I've signed is Facundo Batista. He was only 66p. He's 24 and he plays for Club Necaxa again in the Mexican division. As you can see, when he does play... He's capable of getting some goals. He was out of the squad in the last couple of games, but I'm really targeting this guy for next season, really, come January, just so I've got forward utility for the Cap 240 division. So that's all the signings, guys. I've spent up all my money now, so I'm now going to have to rely on my rewards to get any future signings. So speaking of which, let's just have a look at the rewards in a moment. I'll be opening these rewards, see what I've got. But let's just have a look at my results of the first game week of this 50 to £500 challenge. So here we go, guys. A tier 5 limited that I'll be picking up and 250 points as well in terms of the so coins. So this is the team that got me the tier 5 reward, as you can see. I was only 0.68 from a tier 4. So... Park didn't keep a clean sheet, unfortunately, so two all. Fantastic 100, though, from Valaguez. He scored. Now, Reese did come off the bench. He was my captain, so that was a bit disappointing and a 2 0 loss, so he didn't score very well coming from the bench. Lee Jong Jae did fantastic, though. He got 80 points, and that was in a 2 0 loss with no goal or assist. That was an absolutely fantastic score from him. And Ogashiwa scored in this game, got 71 points. Fortunately for him, though, he did come off injured in this game, so I'm hoping he returns to fitness shortly. I think there's only one game, though, left in the Japan J League. And the Cap 240 team, guys, was really close to getting me that £4 in threshold, which would have been absolutely fantastic for my team. Hoyos obviously got the clean sheet. He has 79 points for him. Now, Makuma was the real letdown. He didn't play at all in this game. I think it's because he potentially featured for the Japan national side recently. So he was rested for this game, unfortunately. Clearance off the line from Yamakawa got 67. Alvarado come off the bench. I was hoping he would start this one. And also Captain Muto did get a goal. Not the best score, though, considering he got a goal as well in a 2-1 win. Overall, though, 16 points away from that threshold. If he would have played, just come on as a sub, that would have been the threshold as well as a tier 5, which I think is a really good re result, guys, from my £55 budget. So let's go ahead and have a look at this reward then, and then I'll reveal my team for the upcoming game week, which is looking fairly tasty with some of those new signings that I just highlighted a moment ago. I'm going to go ahead and claim rewards. Let's have a look at the coins first of all. I think it's 250 coins here. So have a look. There we go. Add them to the kitty. I'm currently saving up for another academy slot, the final one. And tier 5 limited then, guys. So here we go. Let's see what I get. And it's a Netherlands player, defender. For, I don't know what that team is, to be honest. Oh, it's the... Is that a... German team? I'm not sure. Um, so it's Jeffrey Gouamale Lulula. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> I don't know who he is, to be honest. But he plays in the Bundesliga. Let's have a look at this guy. Now, I'm not going to try and pronounce his name again. No clue how to pronounce his name. Is that how you spell it? Yeah, there we go. Augsburg. Yeah, it is a German team. No, he's not too bad. It just looks like he's playing, actually, guys. I know his value is not great, but it's one that I'll probably keep for now because there's another one that I could potentially use um, in the Christmas period. Now, this is this guy's actually looking good, to be honest, guys. For a cap 240 player, this guy is looking really appealing. Some really decent scores here for a cap 240 player. And he's playing, starting all the games as well. So that is, uh, yeah, that's good. And I'll probably keep him for now as well. As I say, I've not got many cards in my collection, so I will keep him 
it's probably going to be usable during December. So yeah, happy with that, guys. I think that's a pretty good reward. Now, on to the upcoming fixtures then, guys. The upcoming team for the upcoming game week that's currently live. It's just kicked off, I think. Um, now, if we just go on to the live tab here. And this is the team, guys. This is the only team that I've got in the upcoming game week, which is a midweek utility, of course, and midweek fixtures. So this is not too bad of a team. Now, all these are predicted to start this one, guys. They all play on the 1st of December at 1 a.m. Captain, I've gone for Kignak. Now, if they get a good result here, I could potentially be up for a decent reward. So I'm hoping to get a good reward here, guys. I was thinking of putting a Capital 40 team in. That is my priority. But the players that I had available was always going over the cap point available. So I had to put this team in the All-Star Limited division this week but let's hope the tikers can get a fantastic result all these players start and kidnap get a couple of goals that's going to add some money to my kitty so as you can see it's zero in the ethereum balance and also in the great british pound balance i've got 41 in ethereum actually and 62p as well um for the cash balance but yeah overall guys i think that's a pretty good reward there for my first game week very close to getting that capital 40 threshold as well and i'm hoping for big things from this team here in my 50 to 500 pound challenge i think it started off pretty well guys my money is spent now though so i'm just going to have to hope and pray that these players start doing the business for me in the coming weeks and months if you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you want to sign up to Sir May Candle using the link in the description below, you're going to get some free stuff there if you use the link in the description. Full details are down there below. Okay, guys, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you again on the next video.